Hey guys, what's up? How are we doing? Happy New Year! This is going to be my first video of 2023. I am very excited to be here and I wish you all love, health, prosperity and all the good things and good vibes. I send them your way. I love you so, so much and I just wanted to say that before we start off 2023 with the right food and what a better way to start off the year than with my dear Charlotte Glow Glide Highlighters. I've been waiting for these. I saw them, um, I'm not sure how long ago, but I've been waiting for a minute. As soon as they released, towards the end of the year, I got two of the shades. This is what her Glow Glide packaging looks like, and they're called the Face Architect Highlighter. Um, this is gonna give you a glowing, lifted, younger looking skin. It's gonna be for cheeks, nose, jawline, eyes, and lips. Yeah, we're gonna try we're gonna try it all the way today. I am very excited to try these out. So I picked out two shades. I got Pillow Talk because hello, we need Pillow Talk always. And then I got a Champagne Glow, which is the more champagne in the line. I wanted to get something gold because that's very suitable for my medium tan complexion. And Pillow Talk is a little bit pinky, so I thought it was good to show you if you're curious about it as well. So when you open up the packaging, this is what she looks like, Hollywood at the top because the highlighters are called Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters, which is a mouthful. Um, when you open it up, this is the beautiful embossing that you can find on all of them. So the stars all throughout the packaging. Let me show you Pillow Talk side by side. I'm a little bit closer. I've already swatched these, I've already wore them, I have shorts on my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all my accounts I've been playing with these guys because I've been comparing them. Of course with Rare Beauty and then we're going to compare them with her Multi Glow highlighters as well which are, which are these ones. These highlighters do retail for 58 Canadian dollars, I'll leave the US right here. They were initially only available on her site but they popped up at Sephora today so that's exciting. We can expect to see six different shades. Um, as I mentioned, I got the more champagne one and the more pinky one. These are described as a powder highlighter that glides on skin like a liquid to give skin an instant skin perfecting filter to highlight, sculpt, and lift. It has squalane and it has smoothing um, emollients. It's going to perfect and hydrate the skin for a satin smooth texture. Get the rich pigmented payoff of a pressed powder with the glide on satin texture of a liquid highlighter. This glow boosting formula illuminates and blurs the skin with smoothing emollients for a satin texture without caking, creasing, or fallout. So those are some beautiful claims we're gonna get to work. The packaging is a very pretty. It is the exact same thing as hair press powder packaging. In here we have 0.28 ounces of product. In here we have 0.24, so a little bit less um, product, same exact compact. Um, I think these are going to be refillable because we do get the little hole right there, we can pop the compact out. I didn't try it yet because to be honest, both of mine highlighters do this. They go around. So I just wonder like, this just makes me nervous. I don't wanna pop these out and then just leave them out, right? Look how gold these little swatch. Just God, look at that. These are some, these are something, both of them do that. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, contacted customer service. They haven't replied, so we are going to wait for that. I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know, but let's swatch. So this is our first one, which is Champagne Glow, and then we have Pillow Top. This is a little closer look. You can see that they're the blinding highlight. They're, they're the kind of highlight that they just blind you. And look what's left on my fingers, nothing. Like this formula is very battery soft. I'm very impressed on like how 
the glide is, is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and apply because again, I'll wait. As you can see, I have my face on. I have no highlighter. This is just a little bit off my base. Um, and I have some bronzer, but no blush or nothing whatsoever. So let's begin with Champagne Glow. And look at that, my friends. Yeah, they're very intense. Very, very intense. And it's pretty though, like it just melts onto the cheeks. Like they're pretty, they're beautiful. Like look at that glow. But you've gotta, you've gotta love your blending highlighters. What else is there to say? You gotta love them. Let's clean up the brush here with this little towel and let's go ahead and move on to Pillow Talk. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You can see that Pillow Talk looks a little bit more icy because I am a medium complexion. These are meant to be flexible for all complexions, but I mean, you can totally see how icy it looks on me. Uh, not 100% my cup of tea. This is more my cup of tea, to be honest. This is more suitable for my skin color, I think. Um, I don't know. You let me know what you think. These are also meant to go on, you know, the nose the eyes so i'm gonna do all of that with the more golden one the champagne one i'm gonna apply with my finger in the bridge right here look at that wow see that's Wow, look at that. It is beautiful. I could totally see this all over my eyelid, you know, some bronzer on my lower lash and be out the door, just like I loved using my Rare Beauty um, highlighters. I want to apply just a little bit of blush at top of this. I'm gonna use this one by Hourglass just to melt everything like so. I'm going to apply her setting spray. Right, friends. So that's it. I think they are very, very pretty. Using the setting spray really, you know, helps to melt everything down and make it look a little bit more, not natural, but just, you know, well applied to the face. Um, I feel like these are stunning. They're very, very beautiful, very pigmented, um, and they do glide, um, but they're gonna emphasize texture just like any blending highlight. I know that that's been a complaint of the Rare Beauties, but it is just the way it is. Like if you have texture on your cheekbones, it is gonna accentuate that texture because it is highlighter, right? And so you just wanna be careful with something like this. If you're not into blending highlighters, you wanna stay away from them. So now let's move on to some comparisons and of course we have to you know swatch rare beauty highlighters i have two shades but i wish i had enchanted which is the champagne one in their line i don't have it i can't get my hands on it so i have here flunt and i have mesmerized and mesmerized is gonna be the pillow talk to because they are a dupe when you swatch them these is more liquid. This is more blinding and it is much more glidey and a little bit more um, silky, if you will. But you can see that Pillow Talk has just a touch more pink in it, you know? Uh, but they're so, so similar. But these, they're more, more 
they're more pigmented like if you were looking for a pinky highlighter and you thought this was too icy for you I feel like pillow talk is a good compromise like even for somebody with my skin complexion you see it looked a little bit more on your face when I freshly applied but after I apply my setting spray now it looks beautiful I cannot decide which one I like best if you thought that mesmerize was too icy and too yeah just too grayish for your complexion I feel like you know Charlotte's is a good in between shade um, I'm gonna just swatch for fun flunt but I is not similar to my champagne shade you can see flunt is just a true gold and the champagne is a champagne color so that's that for so those. now let's compare with her multi glow highlighters i have two shades i have the lightest one which is this one and this is going to be the more pillow talk one but i want to stay in the pink zone i don't want to touch that icy color because it's just too icy um, so here you have it so yep. this is romance light and you can see that it's, it's quite similar to pillow talk um, but I feel like it's just a little bit more pink of course you're swirling your you know your hands in them you could be strategic and just apply one shade let's do a swatch of just this pink and see um, then it's just gonna be mm, just too icy, just closer to Rare's Maximer Eyes. Yeah, give it or take, they're very similar, but I do feel like these are just a touch more natural. Um, on this swatch, maybe you cannot tell, but I remember applying it, you know, side by side, I could see that the glow glides are just a little bit more blending than these ones. Now, the other one is Dream Light, which is the darkest shade. Um, and I'm just going to get the champagne here at the corner and it's just yeah it's too deep it's just closer to reverse flunt if you ask me um it's not this champagne this is a true champagne highlighter and then the other shades is like sore laid it's just gonna be even deeper right um see it's just too red so that's that I did wanted to make sure to touch on these ones because I'm sure you guys are curious about Her that glow glides also reminded me a little bit of Chanel's rosé shade and I do want to swatch it um, so you can see what it looks like this is that shade and I'm thinking that her what's the shade name I'll post it here Gilded Gilded glow like the more yellowish highlighter like coppery highlighter i think this is going to be very close to that my right, friends these were pretty much all the comparisons that i wanted to make if you have anything specific in mind do comment on my instagram do message me or comment here and let me um you know leave your handle so that i can message you back and then show you more swatches and everything uh, but this is all that came to mind you know right away uh at glance these are beautiful they're very very pretty uh, they're very Charlotte, you know, Tilbury. I love her releases. I'm a sucker for her brand, so it's no surprise that I'm very in love with them. I do feel like they're very pricey, but you know, her stuff is pricey though. How much do you get in these ones? In the other ones, you get the same 0 0.24. They look a little bit more bulky, but they're the same thing inside, right? And I feel like they retail for about the same thing. If I'm mistaken, I'll, I'll leave it right there. I really like the packaging. I think it's very pretty, very compacted. I love that it has a mirror. I, I, I think it's very beautiful and pretty. I love the embossing of the product. I just, uh, I'm not sure why it goes like this, right? Uh, so I did contact a customer service, as I mentioned, and I hope that they reply back and I'll let you know what they say. And they do make a sound. So it makes me very nervous. This is just gonna pop you know open and then just like whatever anyhow friends these are pretty i love them i feel like again they're very blinding and beautiful um uh, but they're very similar to rare beauties highlighters so if you are eyeing both of them and you're in the hunt for a beautiful highlighter 
I don't know, friends. I think that either of them are going to be good for you. Like, if you want more of the luxury of the brand, of course, go with Charlotte. But if you don't care about that and you just want the blinding highlighter with the multiple shades, then go with Rare Beauty. Like, your package is a little bit bulky, I'm not gonna lie, but that's hair aesthetics. The whole brand really looks like this. It's cute though, but this is cuter in my opinion. Rare Beauty also has beautiful shades and I love that they release many shades as well, just like very similar shades to be honest. They're pretty much dupes, all the shades are, uh, but these are out of stock. They're so hard to come by, so that's something else. Like I feel like Rare Beauty doesn't really keep up their stock that well, uh, so if you just want to grab a highlighter like this just go with charlotte it's already on sephora's you know website i'll link everything below both on her site and at sephora and if you do use my links it helps me and my channel to continue to growth i'm also going to um you know link all the products that i mentioned into this video for your convenience if you're interested but anyhow friends if you wanted to know my thoughts and you wanted to see my application here you have it i love them i am very content with both of the shades that I picked up. Um, I'm not going to run to pick up any more because I feel like this is good. Um, I do want to try and shine it from Rare Beauty and if I get my hands on that one then I'm going to compare with Charlotte's Champagne Glow but do now I would love to hear from you let me know what are your thoughts are you interested in Rares are you interested in Charlotte what are your thoughts on these whole comparisons what do you think of these highlighters are you into blending highlighters or do you just want your natural highlights let me know any comments anything at all just drop it below friends thanks so much for all Always loving, sharing, supporting, subscribing. I love you all so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye.